Good afternoon guys. Saturday afternoon, 20 past three. First of October. Oh my goodness. I wanted to go out for a walk. First time I've used a DJI Pocket 2 for a long time. Quite a breeze occasionally. 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Pleasant day. Slightly warm. Chilly occasionally. I think the external mic will help and the noise cancellation on certainly external microphone. Anyway, don't want to hear all that, so let's go. Just a little update around my popular area. I've had my booster injection three days ago, so I will start getting out soon for you, Liverpool. Um, want to go. Oxford, Cambridge, London, lots of places I plan, so I'm not just living here in Birmingham. As you know, I used to live there. Quite a bright sun. Haven't got my 10th floor I live there. See how clear the road is now? It, um, was anarchy along here the three years and three months I lived here for well, building noise and uh, total anarchy but now it has all changed as you can see nobody parking here illegally opposite the Novo Hotel end of Sheepcoat Street as you know the Moda over there we have reviewed many times 1350 for one bedroom which I think is outrageous I actually saw a studio in there I think it was 1250 one room in the olden days we used to call them bedsits so the posh name is studio of course now this is going to be a Tesco's here they've been working on it a long time as you can see the gate open still when I lived there, which was always something I was very annoyed about. The ground floor there will be a, maybe another restaurant sometime, but it's been here now about four years. Health and Garden in there. Yes, the motor. I got a message first time in the year and two months I've been vlogging. Perhaps someone vlogging would know more about it than me someone complained about the video I did on Moda. I had permission to see the police here because um, we have the Tory party conference starting tomorrow. Armed um, police everywhere. That goes on until I think it finishes on Wednesday. So we have armed police there. Yes, so they complained but YouTube didn't elaborate. They said We'll give you 48 hours to review it and they said I could block people's faces out but all I went along for an appointment I had two videos on the Moda I had permission permission from the person showing me the flat she was very charming so I couldn't see the problem I, I just couldn't see the problem but I couldn't go I don't do not have a laptop I only have my iPhone to edit and I I wouldn't be able to do it, I didn't have the tools to, but there wasn't any information. I only saw the rooms and the young lady and myself. YouTube said it could be signage, it could be a number of things, but we give you 48 hours to review it. I just took it down, to be honest with you. I couldn't be bothered with the aggravation. It was just, I think it had 600 views, both videos, helping Moda promoting them and as I said I had permission and the young lady showing me around was very charming but I, I just couldn't understand you see here really getting on with this building now sorry I can't see a thing with the sun and as you know the DJI Pocket 2 only has a half an inch screen so I had a review of a lot of my videos I did take a lot down I mean, they were quite good. I, th I thought they were when I started a year and two months ago, obviously. But I mean, you got videos up for one year, 25 views. It's not worth leaving them on the channel, to be quite honest with you. 
or 30 views or four. so I had a good clear out and sort of simplified my channel a bit tidied it up a lot I'm sure a lot of vloggers do that there's nothing wrong with the videos but you know 20 and one had eight views in a year it's when I first started but um, you know I just took them off the channel so it's easier for people to search and look and go into categories so here we are down there you can see the cube but yes please everywhere tomorrow well obviously they're probably here now that's the other side of the Moda building Tory party conference and it's taken up the fountain dancing fountain so when they clear everything away by the perhaps the end of next week I think you've got two weeks at the most maybe three and they will be coming along building the ice skating rink and the big wheel and Christmas market and everything else so you will probably not see the fountain on again this year although it's hardly been on this year we have some new restaurants in Brindley Place that have just opened up we have a new restaurant in Colmore Row I will take you to I didn't think there would be so many people around today because well I say the conference starts tomorrow obviously they are here already some of them in their hotels probably oh look they put a barrier up here oh and a barrier here can't believe this so yes up there you have the picture and, and piano which is under renovation I showed you the other restaurant look at this because the conference is also inside the Symphony Hall so but I've, I've never seen it like this though so, such high security I'm not going to put the camera on them you know what it's like so yes it's getting busy you can imagine what it's going to be like later tonight I wish this DJI had a better signal when the videos on people will know with the sunlight I mean you just cannot see it and sometimes they have switched off and you've wasted your time I wanted to take you just a quick walk around maybe we might get to see the new restaurant I could ask them see this street look all barricaded off and uh, police and security everywhere very breezy I'm glad I'm using the external microphone so very restricted here guys you cannot get anywhere near the symphony hall you should be able to get to the rep theatre and the restaurant in the symphony hall but I'm not sure what you have to do look at this here look you can still get to the rep theatre can't you just have to go all the way around okay thank you look at this here because they built a gigantic well many marquees here I'm told they do have this every two years 
But I said to someone, I've never seen it outside. I know they had it inside the centre. I thought we were going to get to back to normal after Commonwealth Games, but uh, you have all this now. Imagine what it is going to be like when they are actually in conference <coughs> tomorrow. So we have the ball that has been taken away. Apparently it's in a derelict car park at the moment, but it needs some TLC, so they've got a lot of work to do on it and it will be coming we're not back here um, but people were complaining not enough information so it's all alone in this yard somewhere outside Birmingham but it needs some TLC and it's going to then go to its permanent home but not sure where yet because nobody knows I don't think even the council know at this particular moment in time. Here. And uh, total privacy. I won't bother to come along and film on the day they are here. I can find more interesting things to do. But it is a magnificent area. And when this area is completely clear at night with the dancing fountain, I think known as the drive fountain, it's spectacular with the new £13 million symphony hall refurbishment and the £2.7 million rep refurbishment. And just down there, about two minutes walk straight down there, as you know, a very beautiful little park if you come to Birmingham and you want to get away and sit on a bench in the park probably be on your own surrounded by beautiful flowers and some greenery nice place to take sandwiches and a coffee and, and relax not open today I don't think here let's have a look no Hall of Memory closed today. I love this um, building here, Baskerville House, isn't it beautiful? Yes, let's have a look over there again, as you can see, look. Clear when it's all over there but then as I said two or three weeks they will be building the big wheel and the ice skating rink and various other things around here so that'll be it until after Christmas I think it's January the 7th they actually have the ice skating rink until Christmas markets just till Christmas Eve and then it's all gone lady playing the violin she's always here around somewhere do have a lot of security there but they have live music and very nice inside Abbot Slosh it's a lovely restaurant and there you have a opportunity here look quite a large area here but it is remarkable as I've said before what's happened here and what they have achieved yes you see there Abbot Slosh but I do think this building supposed to be finished now but it's probably late 
office building here but a few more months and all this area will be clear for everyone so it should be very nice the zoom over there a very very good Indian restaurant and then we have York's cafe moving well not they're not moving they are actually in the city center next to the railway station this is supposed to open in the autumn but someone told me it's not opening until early next year it's going to be quite large quite a large area but they are also going to keep the other one by Grand Central yes the zoom cafe bar dining room I have done videos on the restaurant you would like to have a look scan down under restaurants in the playlist and of course which we have reviewed also in the playlist obviously under restaurants fountain still working this is what I wanted to show you wonderful remember we had I'm going to take you over to Victoria Square we had pollinations and again I have videos of pollinations the live concert the night shift we missed a lot of music on the 15th I think 16th 17th if you remember because of the Queen's funeral many things were cancelled so they never used the live stage and it's taken a couple of weeks to move everything it was I thought magnificent you have a look at my videos but if you were there in person you could see how beautiful it was I thought it was stunningly beautiful and I came here yesterday they were still working on this area but now finally after it's probably five weeks at least we now have Victoria Square back and Floozy in the Jacuzzi and of course this is where the Christmas market will be hopefully as I said it will be bigger than last year because I thought it was a, a bit sparse last year obviously they missed the year before because of Covid You always have people here supporting Ukraine every weekend. It's good to see it back, as, as I said, after at least five weeks, five or six weeks, we have this whole area back again. And don't forget, as I said to you, early next year, All these slabs are going to be the same over the whole area. Starts after the new year. Apparently they are going to lay these slabs over the whole area of Victoria Square, which will look magnificent. You wouldn't notice it in the winter. I'm told it's going to take 12 months. But they're just going to do segments at a time, so it wouldn't be too bad. We have human rights abuse, Russia and China demonstration. So they've still left all this here this is from the Commonwealth Games but obviously it's going to be dug up when they, as I said they put all the new slabs over the whole area even down the steps right with the way down to the bottom of the fountain and all the way over there so it's a long job as I said I'm told it would take about 12 months probably beginning of the year and then 
it will be finished before the Christmas market, not this year, but next year. It's a beautiful day now. And have a look at Floozy. Looking splendid.
So let us go along towards Colmore. I think the new restaurant might be open now. Perhaps they might let us have a little peep. I would prefer to use the iPhone, but I do not um, have a gimbal. So I will probably wait until I get the gimbal. I just thought you might want to look inside the new restaurant. This is a wonderful area, Colmore Row. Oh, it's all clear down there now. They did have the whole area by Starbucks down there, full of all sorts of materials for pollinations. I had a handheld phone, but I thought it was a wonderful little video. Not many people thought the same, but uh, it was just wonderful to see them. Birmingham Royal Ballet. Yes, so it is open. It's a wonderful restaurant. Do not use this door entrance from, oh, from Lodium Boy Bay, please. So, yes, there is a restaurant in here. Let me switch this off for a second and see what they say. Oh, yes, look. It opens on the 14th. On the ground floor they have a magnificent restaurant. You can have a coffee and a cake and the restaurant for dinner is on the 24th floor. I just spoke to a member of staff. She opened the door. So the 14th they are training staff and still working on it. I said to her, it's a very charming young lady, do they have one seat of tables in a restaurant? I'd love to have dinner. 24th floor, spectacular view. She said, no. And so I said, um, oh, you can join me. And she laughed. Anyway, <laughs> I was naughty. Forgive me. But yes, so anyway, guys, what can you say? I think it'll be the, dare I use the word, the poshest coffee bar I've ever been into in my life, as I said, on the ground floor. And up there, on the 24th floor, will be the restaurant. So I will book a table. Well, you do not have to book a table for coffee. I will go along for coffee and film perhaps some of it for you. I'll take some photographs. She said that would be fine. And I said, how much is it for a coffee? 20 pounds? <laughs> and she said, no, not that much. I said, oh, 19 pounds then. So yes, this is where we missed probably half the show of the ballet. And as I said before, someone might be able to tell me, it really did look like uh, Francesca Haywood from Kenya. Uh, she's the principal at the Royal Ballet in in London, Covent Garden in London. Um, perhaps I'm wrong, but it's her twin then. She's now 30 years old, one of the finest ballet dancers in the world. I'm pretty sure she's in the video at the very beginning. And I didn't say hello to her. I'm so annoyed with myself. And this is where it all happened, but we missed half of it. That is the reason why I put some photos in, if you were wondering because we only had a very short video. So I put some photos in to fill it out a little bit and uh, the neon transitions because as you would have noticed if you clicked on the link and it is a hazard, everyone has the right to walk around so don't misunderstand me but you just get some, I mean it was all Petitioned off, but you still had people literally w cutting across and walking. I mean, so close to me filming, they were 
more or less brushing the camera I was holding and there's nothing you can do about that it's just um, personally it's just total ignorance to be honest this is a nice little seating area at the cathedral here we could go and have a quick view inside the cathedral just take you around this way it's a beautiful area Colmore so yes that's why you have the transitions and the neon one is a, the best one I could put in at the moment only having the iPhone to edit on no computer or laptop I'm limited with what I can do sometimes sometimes the transitions one has in iMovie on iPhone they jump around a lot so you have to sort of mess around takes frames out or I found the the new ones there the neon one seem to work reasonably well and it ha happens within a split second so I don't think it's too distracting for the viewer and it's probably appropriate for the type of video I did film so we will go along plenty of areas here to sit down at the cathedral in Birmingham Colmore Road lots of seating come along here and just relax and this beautiful little cathedral here I might finish the video in there if I am allowed to film if they do not have a service at this particular moment in time it should be allowed No talking now. Thank you, Mike. The fully worked on. 